You're such an asshole. Morning, children. Cappy with 12 hours of sleep. And it was heavenly. And so now, barely conscious and awake, but feeling very good, we're going to continue on with Asshole Consulting, where you, if you have problems and questions, and you want the truth, not lies to make you feel better, you want the truth, <clears throat> come talk to me, the world's only professional asshole, Aaron Clary, at assholeconsulting.com. Carl writes, oh, I wrote that. Hang on, where's Carl? Carl, where'd you go? God, we had a long email correspondence. There we are. All right. Dear Aaron. I hope this message finds you. Well, I made the payment for your PayPal account. Email, blah, blah, blah. Hi, Cappy. My name is Carl. I'm 32 years old, and I come from merry old England. I'm writing you for advice regarding my career progression without boring you about the details of my life history, much like some of your viewers on your channel. I've experienced similar plights, especially with our Marxist education system. As a result, I'm also suffering from worthless degree syndrome. Being from a working-class family in North England, I mistakenly thought this may be a way to break out of my socioeconomic background. <clears throat> Although I majored in psychology, thankfully it led to other subjects I became interested in and successful in, such as hypnosis and NLP. I don't know what that is. I've utilized it to give myself improved confidence, to which my life has improved dramatically. Awesome! Up until 2013, I worked a menial job scrubbing floors and cleaning kitchens for minimum wage. I soon started to apply what I had learned from, hypno from a hypnotist to sell insurance to great success. I soon became one of the best insurance salesmen in the company. Uh, whatever, you know... Whatever it takes, we could talk about college and degrees and certifications and all that, but none of that matters unless you actually have the work ethic and the hustle and the discipline and the commitment to work. Uh, and also the commitment to experiment. Like, look, if everybody keeps doing the same thing the same way, just only harder, well, then your improvement is only going to be the amount of calories of energy you put into it more. Which, given human physique and all that, maybe you can improve 2 or 3, maybe 5% more. But it's not just intelligence. That happens, too. Intelligence really makes things much more efficient. It really drives and delivers success. But just experimentation. Like, I know a buddy. This is why I'm kind of interested in becoming a used car salesman. Because uh, I'm bored. But... Um, because this guy I knew, he was trying to hack it as an engineer or something like that. Something IT. And he did all right, um, but then on a lark, he ended up becoming a used car salesman. He became their best salesman, like with me with ballroom dancing. You know, I had no idea I'd be a ballroom dancer. I'd be a good one at that. Um, but then to teach it on the side, make a little bit of scratch on the side, oh my God, you know, who knew? And so that has nothing to do with degrees, but it does have to do with whether you'll give it a shot, whether you'll try new things, and whether you'll employ or deploy different tactics and techniques and the hypnosis thing dude people could laugh their ass off at you i might have laughed my ass off at you but it made it it, it had it had success and after that doesn't matter the money is green or whatever color it is in, in merry old england uh and and that's success so that i wouldn't necessarily dismiss that uh i became one of the best insurance salesmen in the company, oftentimes earning more than a management team. Suffice to say, the company went bust a few years ago, and I have not been able to find a job like this since. That offers a fair commission structure. Anyway, I came up with the idea of limiting, setting up a limited company to give myself a reference and purchase online training materials and books that relate to the kind of job I'm working at attaining. I'm thinking of applying for an accounts manager or business development manager job here and they pay upwards of 50,000 pounds of 64. Wow, you even did, you went online and looked it up. You got down to the, to the dollar, 64 grand. If there's any advice you could give me in relation to my plan, it would be greatly appreciated, particularly if you have wisdom in part on winging it and how to give an employer or work colleagues the impression that I know what I'm doing. Kind regards from across the pond. Carl, okay, well, Carl, you, you have the sales experience. You're like the best. And it, even though the company went bankrupt, you should still be able to point to that and put that on your resume. But if you want to cover a gap, you can go to the extent of setting up a, what do they call them, a PLC or something like that, um, or some other kind of company. But you got to... You gotta then also have a website, so now you gotta get a website to kind of prove it. And then when they call, who are they gonna call? They gonna call a, a secretary? Um, what I would do, so the way I did it is I found a buddy who um, 
who uh, what did he he ran an IT company, just a small one, and they had a, an LLC registered in Minnesota. And I said, hey, look, can I put you, and they had a website. I'm like, hey, can I put you down as reference and say that I was your finance director? And he's like, sure. And they called him up. He said that, that, ba da ba. And so what I'm recommending you do is setting up your own company, having to have a separate phone number. So that's another thing you got to do because they're going to call you for the job, but you got to have a separate phone number for the company. And you're going to have to go pay money for a website domain, program it, um, then get the... LLC set and all this other stuff. Plus, they can technically look it up and find out when was that PLC set up. What you want to do is you want to find a buddy who belongs to a small family or somebody that already has a business. And since you want to be in sales, it doesn't really matter what that company is. Same thing with finance. It doesn't matter what the company is. Every company needs sales and finance. So these two generalists, you can't really call them skills, maybe. Um, it's not going to be impossible to believe that oh this company has a sales team or this company has an accounting or finance guy so what you do you contact your buddy you trust who has a company you say look can i just have you as a reference on my resume and the company already exists because it's legitimate and real they call your buddy and you, oh yeah jim oh here's the greatest sales guy we had and yeah no he's and then you got to come up with an excuse as to why you're leaving <clears throat> that um, you'll have to figure out on your own. Um, I think you could say, yeah, we're winding down, like I'm retiring. Um, you know, he'll still be working maybe part time, but yeah, I'm, I'm getting too old for this. That's a good, good exit. You're just a small mom pa store, and and that's it. And that's probably the best way for you to come with a fake uh, reference. Um, I'm just surprised you couldn't find a job uh, since the previous one. I mean, that if you have sa sales is a thing, man, you either have it or you don't. I don't know, go to a used car lot and find out if you can work there. I mean, you, you, were, you were willing to try the hypnosis thing, and that led to some success. What else crazy stuff can you try? It wouldn't even be that crazy. The hypnosis thing, I admit, is pretty freaking crazy. But yeah, can you just walk to like a sales place? Can you just go to a finance? I mean, you may even have it where you go to... Lloyd's of London or whatever the the Goldman Sachs cocksucking version of the of Goldman yeah the the Goldman Sachs version over in, in London um just walk up to the door and I, hey I want to be a, I want to be a broker I want to be a salesman you might have to get some securities training but that's what I would do I would not set up your own LLC I've kicked around and and I, I I've kicked around setting up a company with the sole purpose of being there for references you know, kind of like fake schools with their fake diploma mills. Um, you know, you pay some money I'm like, yeah, we just got you on your record. And there's one secretary. She's asking, hello, XYZ Corporation, please help. Play some music. How can I help you? Oh, yes, I'll direct you to HR. And they're like, hi, this is Amy. I don't know if it's be profitable and be funny as hell. All right, that's all we got. You guys got questions, go to Captain Capitalism. I'm sorry, no, go to assholeconsulting.com. But if you want to read my wisdom, you can go to captaincapitalism.blogspot.com. You can read my books. You can find them on Amazon.com. Tell your friends. I'm glad I got a, some Aussies and I got some uh, United Kingdomers uh, clients today. Spread the word all across the English-speaking language world and um, help me help you. And by that, I mean give me your fucking money. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.